Another way we can put a table is to copy and paste Excel. Now, if you haven't done the Excel course yet, then don't worry. What we'll do is we'll just give you a quick overview of what Excel is. So here is Excel. Excel is very much a mathematical tool and people often use it to create visual work as well in terms of tables and columns with columns and rows. So in this example, all I've done is I've replicated the table we just created. I've chosen a number of cells and put them into rows and columns and then I just applied a formatting so it looked like the table. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to select it all. I can either right click and copy or I can control C the standard copy. Now let's go back into PowerPoint. I'm going to choose new slide so I'm going to come into here and I'm going to go home new slide. And I'm going to click in here and instead of now pressing the insert table, I can either right click and I've got a load of paste options there. Or I can come here into the paste icon and you can see I've got the same options just here. Let's have a look at each one of those in turn. This one here uses the destination styles, so it uses the same styles that are appropriate to this PowerPoint theme. The next one keeps the formatting that I'd put in the actual Excel. You can see the blue. The following one is embed. This one's very, very useful. What it actually does is it embeds the Microsoft Excel file into this PowerPoint. What it means is that if I ever want to edit this table and use the power of Excel within PowerPoint, then all I need to do is then double click on it and Excel will open within PowerPoint. It's a bit more of an advanced function and once you're used to using Excel, it's very, very useful to do. Be aware though, even though we're just only visually able to see that component of Excel, by embedding that Excel into PowerPoint, any person who has access to this PowerPoint slide has access to all the other information in that Excel. So just be aware of that. It also will increase your file size of your slideshow. Of course, that makes sense, putting another file within a file. I can put it in as a picture. This would allow me to then apply any of the picture formatting that we had done previously in the previous videos. And it's very, very good if you really want to spice up the look of a table. And finally, I could just keep the text only and just have a raw text. Not so useful as the other functions, but nevertheless, still an option here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the picture format. Here we go. And now it means I can use it and move it exactly like a normal picture. I could now see that the picture tools format up here is now active and I can apply various picture styles. There we go. Look at that. Not necessarily the easiest to read, but looks good. OK, so there we go. Useful topic to cover, embedding an Excel table into PowerPoint, number of different options, and also gave us the opportunity to look at the Pace Special. One of the things that I like about the new Pace Special is the live preview. So you could actually see it change before you decide which one you want to go with. That's it.